Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Yes, we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Okay, Brad, you're going to show us how to adjust the brakes on a four-wheel walker. This is greatly needed. Yeah, because there's millions of these out there. People are using them. They're wonderful devices, and they work excellent, except if the brakes are not if the adjustment goes out. I literally would have to watch this video if I was going to do it. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, it's uh, it's easy once you figure it out, but sometimes they're made, some of them are a little different. But generally, you'll get the concept in just a minute. But what about this, and Bob? And if you need to relax your muscles before you do it, um, <laughs> this is the, the device for you. It's our X6. It's a giveaway. This is what you can right. get. It's a beautiful it's free. gun. It's, it's our top gun, I would say. Top it, gun. It's the most powerful one we have right now. And, right. Uh, go yeah. to BobBrad.com and go to the giveaway section, and you can sign up. Real easy to do. It is. Okay, here we go. The brakes on a walker. When you squeeze them, it should lock and you can't move the walker forward and backwards. When you push down, it's called the parking brake. Static brakes, you push down and it should click, click, and then you can it sit should, on it. It should hold. Yep, they'll lock it, then you can sit on it or it won't go down the hill. But over time, they tend to loosen up and they don't hold. Yep. Two things can happen. You can get them from the factory, not adjusted properly, sure. which Chris just had happen, or they sure. will always, the cables always stretch. It's just part of it. You will need to adjust these after so many months. So of once use. they stretch out, uh, you need to, to adjust again. Right. You do not need a lot of fancy tools. Uh, it's nice to have a pair of pliers. I've got two needle noses and but it doesn't matter just get a pair of pliers that that pinch a needle nose can be helpful but the regular pliers uh that Works you have too. uh and like that like the uh, thing in your kitchen usually people have a couple oddball tools in their kitchen sure. uh maybe a adjustable wrench or a crescent wrench some people call it um so actually these did come out of my kitchen junk yeah, drawer yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah literally so here we go let's zoom in on here and uh there's uh, a mechanism here for adjusting the tightness of the cable, which goes through here, and uh, that's responsible for uh, tightening the brakes down below. Now, if we're gonna look close here, you're gonna see this uh, knurled section right here, and then there is a little nut, and that's called the lock nut right there. Now, sometimes a lock nut on some of these are a, a large, uh, circular nut, which is uh, made for your fingers. This one is actually made for a wrench. You don't have to have a wrench to do it. Now, hopefully the lock nut is not so tight. If you can start to spin this like this and get it to move, and if it doesn't, then you get your pliers on there and you go like this and you'll get it to move. Now, I'm tightening the- Is that always uh, counterclockwise, Brad? Yep. I'm, I'm going to talk, oh, I wonder if, not, if, if, by the way, if the brake is down, make sure it's up, it's a lot easier. Oh, now I'll build it. do it. Oh, it's going Now, easy, where yeah. is that pen? <sighs> All you'll need to Are do okay, is get this so you can start to see more threads between this neural knot. nut and the plastic. And as you can see, this distance from here to here is getting better, bigger, and that's tightening so you're calling this thing the neural nut. Yep, with, yep it, it's, it's rough. You know, that's how you can get a grip right. on it. And then here's the lock nut. So I'm going to tighten that up until, oh, actually, I got it too tight now. Now, I, it, actually, it's, it's locked right now, so I have it too tight. Usually what will happen is if it's too loose, you'll get up about to here or so, and you have to keep checking it. If it's too tight, like mine is, I'm going to bring it back in the other direction. And let's see here. That's good. That's good. There. Yeah, there you go. So it is uh, important that you tighten the lock nut. So I'm just going to grab it with this needle nose. If you have a wrench, open end wrench or a combination wrench, that works fine. A lot of people that have those wrenches are pretty handy and they don't need to watch this video. So that's why I didn't. So I'm going to lock it there. And there, we're done. Now there's the exact same mechanism down here. So if, if you get this one all the way out and then the threads start coming out of the plastic 
mechanism, that means you can't go. And it's it still not in. working. Yep. So if you get out and it's not working, yep. you got to then tighten that one up and yep. then go down to that one. Lock the nut, go down to the one down here and do the exact same thing. Loosen this up and- Does it matter, Brad, where the neural nut is? Well, that determines how tight the cable gets. It does. But yeah, the farther away that the neural no. nut gets from here, then so this nut right here is not the one though. It, yeah, that's really not a nut. That you know you can yeah. call it a. What do you call? Well, what do you call it? It's it's a neural. I guess you can call it a nut. So it doesn't matter where that is. Well, yeah, I, I guess I wasn't clear because the further. I'm gonna loosen up my lock nut right. again. The further I'm gonna rotate it this way, which means the threads are making this farther away from the plastic handle. And oh, that's all one thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. The neural. No, I mean, I'm moving this part separately of this part. Right. Yep. So this is a lock nut which locks so this thing cannot be rotated. Oh, I see. That's what has to be moved out, though. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yep. I was thinking the nut had to be moved out. No, because the nut just floats Loosen. around. There. I see. Yeah. Now I, it's I'm actually starting to understand. The distance from this little shoulder to the flat spot of the handle. When that gets wider and uh, that tightens the cable, gotcha. and when it gets narrower, it loosens it. I completely misunderstood that. Yeah, I probably did not explain it very well. So uh, hopefully this is, I'm glad you're here, because yeah. a lot of other people probably took it right. the same way. So um, this whole thing has to be moved out. Yes. And this tightens it in place once it is um, right. in the right distance. This nut has nothing to do with how tight the cable gets. It sure. only prevents this from moving, so it doesn't. Adjust, yeah. Gotcha. Yep, yep. Tanner's shaking as he, he gets it. And again, down here is the same type of mechanism device. So you treat it the same way. Again, you get this all the way out and it's still not working. Down there, you go. Then you go down here and get that separated and I see. tighten it up even further. Uh, there is one more thing. If you can't get it tight enough between the two of them and you got them extended as far as they'll go. Then it gets a little more complicated and you have to pull. I'm not going to get into that in this video. No. That's you need another art. wrench and then you need sometimes two people. But That's beyond art. I've never had that art. happen. Sure. I, I've always been able to tighten them between this and this. How um, often do you can usually do it with one? I mean, does it oh, usually I, take both? Most of the time. It does. Yeah, yeah, because when you buy them, they're in fire. So usually, unless it's a really old walker, um, you're going to be fine up here. I've never, well, I shouldn't say oh, never. So you usually don't have to go down. Right. Here. Oh, typically God. you get tight enough up here and you don't have to go. God. Down. I've God. only had to do that in 20 years, less than a handful of times. Sure. So you're, you're, that's why we're just focusing on here. It's going to work. You're going to have breaks that work. And now even this one is too tight. I'm going to have to readjust it now, but, for it's not important for this you video. Change your oil while you're in there. Yeah, you got to <laughs> lubricate things a little bit yeah. too. Good luck with ch you know working on this device. Uh, you know, I, I want to make sure that you don't say bad words as a result of yeah. My Brad poor really explanation. is a handy guy. So yeah, it's a curse. <laughs> a blessing and a curse, like monk. All right, thanks.